with his latest film recently completed, American director and producer Robert Wise takes a break in Central Australia. But he's already looking for a locale for his next movie. At Alice Springs, the director of such famous films as Somebody Up There Likes Me, West Side Story, The Sound of Music and Star, finds a thriving community reveling after the first rains following a ten-year drought. The Overland Telegraph Building, which, almost a hundred years ago, provided the first link across the continent from Port Augusta to Palmerston, now renamed Darwin, a distance of 1,668 miles. Its fame almost legendary, the Royal Flying Doctor Service has its headquarters in the Alice, and its founder, the Reverend John Flynn, lies buried beneath this simple memorial. Distances here are vast, and a Canellan Airways beat craft turns days of travel into a few hours flight for Mr and Mrs Wise. The Hermansburg Mission, birthplace of Aboriginal artist Albert Namatjira, is the oldest and largest mission station in the Territory. Rising over 1,700 feet above the plain, the spectacular Mount Olga, once the sacred tribal ground of the Araija Aborigines. 30 miles to the east, the largest pebble in the world. The wind and weather has sculpted weird designs into the face of Ayers Rock. This one is known appropriately as the Brain. Five and a half miles around and over a thousand feet high, the rock is pitted around its base with hundreds of small caves. These too were once the sacred grounds of Aboriginal tribesmen, as the rock carvings and paintings bear witness. The McDonnell Ranges, running west from Alice Springs, are cut through by the spectacular Stanley Chasm. Rock faces, towering 250 feet high, blaze in an ever-changing display of reds, pinks and golds. At Ormiston Gorge, the Fink River reflects the colourful rock formations of the cliffs on either side. Like stranded mountaineers, ghost guns cling desperately to the sheer walls above the gorge. This is the dead heart, Namajira country, a land where time has lost its meaning. Yet to many who have seen it, the most beautiful country in the world. And described by tourists from the four corners of the globe, a painted country. <laughs>